gorgeouses and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kapana from Kapana the Blog and thank you for choosing me. Today is episode 5 of how I do things and I'm finally showing you how to do your very own box braids. So let's not waste any more time, let's jump straight into it. So the point of doing a braid is to have three equal pots. One on the side, another in the middle, and another on the other side. And all you're going to do is swap the hair in the middle with the hair on the side. So you can decide to always take the middle hair over the hair on the side, or you can decide to always take the hair in the middle under the hair on the side. So it will look something like this. So here's your three parts, and it will always go under. So middle part goes under, and you swap middle part goes under and you swap middle part goes under and you swap so you're gonna keep doing that over and over again middle part goes under and you swap middle part goes under and you swap so once you get the hang of it you can use your hands whatever way you want to to make it easy for you and as you see the middle part is always going under the parts on the side how pretty is that Okay, so I'm going to show you one more time. This time I'm going to make sure that the middle part goes over the side pieces. So here are my three parts. One, two, and three. Okay, so the middle part is always going to go over the side part. Over. So like I said, the point is to swap the middle hair with the side hair. Swapping the middle part with the side hair either going over or under. Now this method, I prefer this method where the middle part always goes over the side part because it ends up being much tighter than the other method. Now I'm going a little faster to show you how it is. I prefer this one, it's so much tighter. It makes a much neater braid. So you can decide whichever one you want to use, either going over or under but make sure that once you make a decision you stick to it until you get to the end of the break so let's get into showing you how you do that on your head so I'm going to start with the piece of natural hair which I'm going to separate into two equal parts I'm going to then take my extensions which are in three equal parts and attach one piece of my natural hair to one section of the extension hair piece. I'm then going to take the other sec section of my natural hair and attach it to another section of the extension hair piece. Once I have them tightly fastened to each one of their sections, I'm going to continue braiding as normal. Now it's super important that you do not borrow one hair or one piece of hair to another piece of hair. You want to make sure that each section continues as it is all the way until you get to the bottom. Once you're at the bottom of the braid, then you can start borrowing hair, but don't borrow hair when you're working with your natural hair. Now I like using this method to braid my hair because it makes sure that none of the braids will fall off my head. That's super embarrassing and you do not want that. So this will make sure that they stay on your head until you remove them or until you cut them off. So let's have one more look at that. So this is the blonde piece of hair that I'm going to just prep before I put on my head. So I'm going to loop the smaller section over the bigger section so that I have three equal parts of hair. Once I'm ready with that, then I'm going to put it close to my head so I can attach it to my natural hair. So my natural hair is in two equal parts. I'm going to take one section of my natural hair and attach it to one section of the extension hair piece. And then I'm going to take the other section of my natural hair and attach it to the other section of the extension hair piece. As you can see, there are two separate parts. Then I'm going to continue to braid as normal. Once again, no borrowing of natural hair from one section to another section. Keep them separate and just continue to braid until you get to the bottom of the hair piece. Now the method that I'm using to braid my hair is 
super easy and it makes sure that I keep it nice and tight and that none of my natural hair escapes or ends up flying away or just looks untidy. Now, a question that I get a lot of the times is how I manage to braid the back of my head. Now, a trick that I use is that I start with my arms up and I braid as far as I possibly can. And then I then switch the hair to the side like I'm doing now so that I can continue to braid that piece of hair while my arms are down. Now, the part that makes people really tired when they're braiding is that they always have to have their arms up. But if you just pass your hair to the side and then continue to braid downwards with your arms down, then your arms won't get as tired so quickly. So try and switch from having your arms up and having your arms down. So here is the hair. So it's just like your normal, some of you might call it kanikalon. This is just your normal yaki braid. It is just standard synthetic hair. I'm going to cut my hair in half because once I then start to pull the hair to make a taper off, it's going to be extra long and I don't want my hair to be that long. So I'm just going to cut this hair in half. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start pulling the ends. Now this is what makes the hair come out as a tapering motion. So you see the same way my natural hair tapers off. We're going to pull the extension hair so that it also tapers off. So how I usually do that is I hold towards the end of the hair on the one side and I start to pull individual pieces of hair. Now this may take a little bit of time and when you're new to it, it may seem a bit hard to do, but you will get used to it. Trust me, it's just, it takes time. So I grab a big bunch of hair first and then I pull and let go of the hair as I am pulling. Cool, so basically once you get through most of the hair, you'll see that the one end is nice and neat and then the other end is a bit of a mess. So what you're gonna do is, I usually like using an Afro comb. Here it is. I usually like using an Afro comb to just basically comb that out on the other end. Now this is what really gets that tapering motion all through the hair so you need to make sure you hold the hair really nice and tight on the one end so that you don't drop the hair and make a big mess out of it cool then you're going to go to the other end and just do a little extra I really 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 want it super tapered off so that's why I'm doing it on both sides and what I really like about the darling hair piece is that it is not knotting at all. There's no knot so far, so, so far so good. Cool. Then grab your Afro comb once again and comb through it. Cool. Seems like I'm pretty much done. Once you're done, you are gonna lose a bit of hair, but you've got a lot of it, so you'll be cool. So here it is, as you can see, it tapers off towards the end and that's what we want so a lot of people ask how do you make sure that you keep grabbing the same section of hair and that your braids are the same width the trick to that is making sure that the hair that you grab on your head is equal every single time so I'm going to be using a two by two centimeter block every single time and then also what I do with the piece of hair is I grab a section of hair so this is the section of hair that I'm using it is quite thick and with that section, I'm going to already place on the side 10 sections of hair which are equal. So I'm gonna do this every single time so that I know how thick I want my braids to be and that they are consistent. This is really a time saver and it makes sure that your hair is consistent in width and it makes it easy for you to grab hair every single time you need it. And it's a great way to measure how much hair piece you're going to need to braid your hair anyway. Okay, cool. So that's about 10 pieces of hair. 10 sections of hair, which is gonna make up 10 braids. And the rest of the hair, I'm just gonna put to the side until I need it again. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the starting position. My hair is clean, it is detangled, 
and it is well moisturized. You really want to make sure that your hair is in a good state before you get into a long-term protective style. If you want to know how you do that, you can head over to my video on preparing your hair for a long-term protective style over here. Okay, so what I've done is that I've moisturized and detangled my hair and I've put them into six sections. There's the side sections, which will basically give me an indication of where my side path is going to be. There's the middle sections that will allow me to have a middle path when I'm done. Then there is the middle of my head basically and this is basically the part that's probably the hardest to braid. Then there's the back section which I'll give you a look in a few minutes. So as promised, there is the back section. Now this is basically the section that I'm gonna do in a blonde color. And then this is just the middle of my head. I like to have that sectioned off because it's the last piece of hair that I'm going to braid and it's possibly the hardest hair to braid. Okay, so to braid my hair, I am going to be using the Darling Million Braid hair piece. Now this is a hot water hair piece and it's based for twisting, micro, braiding hot water sealing and curling it's only 20 bucks and which is super super cheap and this is color two then i'm also going to be using the blonder color at the back of my head better known as 27 it's also a hot water braid so at the end of it all i can actually style my hair and curl it using hot water as i said before i'm going to move one section at a time so i'm going to start with the section on the side of my head so I'm just going to undo it and then get started. Okay, as I said, I'm going to be doing jumbo-ish braids. So the thickness is you can really see the hair in front really well so you want to make sure that the lines in front are super straight so to do that I am using a rat tail comb to just divide the lines to divide my hair into three equal lines and then that's the second line so here's the first one I'm gonna start braiding first and then I'm gonna move on to the other lines so you kind of want them to be relatively straight I mean I'm I want my hair to be relatively straight so you don't have to if you want to take round sections of hair that's up to you and if you want to have a pattern that's also up to you so as I said my hair's already detangled so I really don't need to comb through my hair this time around I'm just literally taking one section at a time so I'm gonna be using these hair clips to just move my hair out of the way so here's the first section of hair and I'm just moving that out of the way so my blocks are going to be relatively big so medium sized This also makes it easy to like finish braiding quite quickly. So once I have my section, I can either use my comb to move my hair out of the way or use one of the clips to just clip the hair out of my way. Boom. Now that I have my sections on the side, I can just grab a section and start braiding. So like I showed you in the steps, I'm quickly going to redo it. So I'm going to take my hair and separate it into two, like so. Then I'm going to take my section of hair. Here it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this hair into two sections. So here's a bigger section of hair and this is the smaller section of hair. What I'm going to do is I'm just basically going to cross the hair like so. So I'm basically going to loop this hair so that it joins on the other side and I'm going to leave this side nice and loose. So I've looped the one side 
like so. I'm going to keep holding this one together and then here's the one section and here's the other section. So with the hair like that you're going to keep the smaller sections together and hold it like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the hair over the two sections that I've just created. Making sure that section one joins one side and the section the second section joins the other like so and then I'm gonna start braiding my hair there we go and now I have one braid it is nice and tight and I'm definitely sure that it's not gonna fall off it's a cute length I'm super happy so now that the one is done I'm just going to unclip the line and grab another section of hair and repeat so basically my strategy is to work one line at a time and as you can see here I'm basically working with one section I divide it into three lines and then I'm just going to braid one line at a time so I'm basically going to repeat these steps over and over again and I thought that it would be really nice for you guys to see how far I get and how long it takes me to finish each section and how far I am every hour so let's fast forward to the next hour and see how far I am Okay gorgeouses, that's it for this episode. I hope it really helped and that you'll be trying it out soon. Don't forget to tag me on those pictures on social media if you do try out these box braids. Now you know no video is done without those selfies, so let's get into it. One, two, three. Thank you so much for watching gorgeous people. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and definitely share it with a friend. I'm Kapano from Kapano the blog and I just did the things. So